to come on and talk to you a little more after my short little update. I know a lot of people don't like to watch really long videos that are just pretty much updating, so I thought I would make that one really short and then talk about this other specific thing in a separate video. So, um, one of the things that my specialist recommended was a medication that's called Cymbalta. It's uh, mostly used for depression, but it also can help nerve pain with fibromyalgia. So I, that was what it was supposed to be testing, and if it helped, then I was pretty much going to be diagnosed with fibromyalgia, and if it didn't, then I would just stop taking it, obviously, and try something else. Um, <laughs> but actually, I was allergic to it. I took it the first day, and I couldn't sleep all night. Um, I had headaches, I was nauseous, I couldn't eat. Um, the lowest dose, I think, also. Uh, but it's a pretty powerful medication. It was really hard on my body. Um, but the second day I took it, um, I took it right before I went to bed, which apparently I wasn't supposed to do. Um, and I woke up really early in the morning and I had been itching all over all night and I had hives everywhere and I my face was swollen like on my cheeks and my skin was like a weird bumpy rough texture and <laughs> I told my mom and she she works at the hospital so she hears horror stories about allergic reactions all the time and she's like you're you're not taking that anymore <laughs> um so that didn't work out uh, but after that fiasco, I was able to do a sleep test, uh, like at home sleep test thing. So I was hooked up to a bunch of wires that monitored my heart rate. Um, there was something around my chest that I don't know exactly what that monitored because the heart rate thing was on my finger. Um, and then, sorry, I got distracted by the noise outside and now I lost my train of thought. Like I said, I'm not doing well health-wise, and once one thing goes downhill, my mind is just, it's worthless pretty much. I mean, that's horrible to say because it's like my consciousness, but yeah, that's just how it works. Um, anyway, I have no idea what I was saying still. Oh, I was talking about the sleep test. So I had a wire hooked up to my finger that monitored my heart rate, and I had a thing that monitored my breathing out of both my nose and my mouth. Um, that's basically to test for a sleep apnea, the one um, at your mouth, and for like snoring and stuff, but I don't have any problems with that because I don't even have tonsils. Um, my cat is wanting my attention really bad. Uh, he's actually been really sweet. He knows that I'm not feeling well, which is interesting. <laughs> Seems like Pets are always like that, but it's really sweet. Um, and then the thing around my chest, uh, well, I already said, I don't really know what it was measuring, but it had like a, it was strapped on, and then it had a, like a black thing in the middle that was just flat against my chest, and then uh, it had a little wire coming out of it as well, connected to the machine. So I don't know what it was measuring, maybe like my body temperature or something, that would make sense. Uh, We'll see. Um, it, they said the results will come in two or three weeks, so they should be here within the next week or so, which will be nice. And then after that, um, they're going to decide whether or not I should try a medicine that will help me sleep, and then if so, what one to try. Like, what type of sleeping medicine? Like, something to just knock me out, or something just to relax me? Like, what exactly my body needs to sleep better? Uh, because the specialist I talked to said that my sleep is probably a lot worse than I realize because, you know, I mean, you're sleeping, so you don't really realize how well you're sleeping. You just know that you're tired. Um, so that will probably be, be the next time that I try, or the next thing that I try. And if it's a really simple medication, I might try something... Um, more like an herbal remedy than a medication just because medications usually don't go well with me. Like even the eye drops that I got for my pink eye, they make my eyes so sensitive to light. I can't 
look into the light at all. They make my eyes water all the time. They burn. Um, I think they make me dizzy. I'm not sure. Um, it could be just switching to my glasses, but I had switched to my glasses before I started the medication. So it's just, it's likely that <laughs> eye drops are making me dizzy. That's crazy. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. That's just more specific things to talk to you guys about, just about my recommended treatment, I guess. I'll see you soon.